Hello, this is the Cross One, and welcome to Monday. So, you may have noticed a giving video went up today. Hooray! And it didn't feature my friend. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Also, you know, um, the multiverse th phone that I talked about last episode? Yeah, I kind of, um, messed it up. I was, um, eating, and I didn't realize that, um, I hadn't quite made this thing airtight yet. So some food got in. Gonna have to fix that. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe next week. We'll see how things go, but multiverse phone is on hold for now. Shh. I actually made a phone joke. So today, I'm gonna talk about poverty. Why? I don't know. Me, personally, I am a fan of giving. I, um, I believe that everyone should, uh, have a fresh, a good, even starting ground to start off from, so they can do whatever they want to do, but a lot of times it's limited by poverty. Now, poverty is when, basically, you don't have enough income to support yourself theoretically like you're not enough money to make the meet the basic needs of human survival like shelter food and water and yeah basically that's it I mean some might argue some things philosophically about what um, a human needs but other than that the basic human needs Shelter, food, water. So poverty is when you can't meet those money-wise because of whatever reason. It just really bugs me that this is a thing. Like, I know the world can't be perfect because it can't. But just the fact that in, like, first world countries, civilized countries, that we can have people on the street that are dying. To me, that just sounds ridiculous. And then, just, the reason behind it as well, like, so many people are against paying taxes. Especially the ones that can afford paying taxes. Like, people way high up in the business world, the rich ones, the top 1%. Like, here's a fact. In America, where I don't live, um, in America, the top 1% of the population makes 20% of the income in the entire country. That is ridiculous! Like, seriously. That just blows my mind because these people are making so much money that they basically make 20% of the country's income and they're so against paying taxes? There is zero way you could spend all that money. Exactly zero ways. There is no way you could spend all that money. And taxes aren't that bad. Like, sure, you're losing money, but it's not that much considering. It's only a percentile. It's not like you're losing like 90% of your money, even if you did you would still be just fine. But no, taxes are bad. Taxes are evil. They, they're the, the devil's work. What? <sighs> like, I understand if you're against paying taxes if you don't want it going to the wrong place, such as politicians' pockets. Nobody wants their money going there because everybody knows politicians are evil. But seriously, like, if you just voted for someone who you know, well, you can't know for sure, but someone you're definitely close on being sure for is not going to steal your money, then vote for that person, as long as you agree with their ideals. Like, don't vote for someone who wants to kill babies but we'll spend your money killing babies. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't follow his promises. Just vote smart. Next time an election comes up, vote for someone who isn't a dick. Okay? Everyone, 
Everyone, everyone around clear on that? Don't vote for a dick. And don't be mean to homeless people. They've fallen on hard times. Life is unpredictable. Maybe thunder hit their... Thunder? Lightning? No, I'm going with this. Maybe thunder shook their house down and now they're poor and living on the streets. Now, maybe it was their fault they didn't get insurance or whatever, but still, just because some fella took a risk on not getting insurance doesn't mean he should suffer on the streets. Anyways, this is the I cross one. With the teleporting door. Smiley face. Saying goodbye and um... Next time you see a homeless person, give them ten bucks. Say it was from me. <laughs> You don't, you don't have to say it was for me, but just give that homeless person ten bucks.